Okay, so I have a fresh scene here with a cube in the middle, and I'm just going to press tab and then uh, right click and select subdivide and give it a little bit of subdivision. You don't need a lot. Uh, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I want to color the faces of my cube with vertex color. Uh, and you might want to do this for a number of reasons. A common reason is you may want to bake an ID map, say a substance painter. Um, so I think initially what I'm going to do here is just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to go to viewport display and I'm just going to enable wireframe over the top of my flat shading. Uh, so now I've got my cube subdivided. Um, let's just hop over to the top left hand corner up here and we're just going to change the mode to vertex paint. Now at this point I can um, I can choose a color to paint up here and currently by default it's black or white so if I just click on that I can drag this down and I can create red and then for the secondary color I can uh, increase the value and then select a green like that and if I press X on the keyboard like a lot of other applications it will switch the color switch between the secondary the the first and second color so if I press X again it flips back to red and the secondary color will be green there now um, I can paint on my cube that color red uh, I can undo that press X swap it back and I can paint green but what we want to do is we want to actually fill in a face uh, and to do this uh, what we could do is we could just shift space and we get a, a menu uh, but unfortunately we don't want these uh, this set of tools here we actually want we have to change the mode of vertex paint from vertex selection to paint mask which is done up here in the top left hand corner so if we just click on paint mask like that now we get another tool over here called the select box and if I press shift space now uh, I can actually select that sh that select uh, that, that uh, selection box and what's happening here is if I click on a face that face is now unmasked or I can use shift to select multiple faces like this uh, and I can use other modifiers as well I'm sure you can discover that for yourself uh, now if I go back to the painting mode and if I come up to the paint menu here we can see set vertex colors it's control X that's a shortcut so if I do a control X it's going to set my faces to green. Now if I press X again to swap my colors over, so red is now my primary color, I can press Shift X and it'll color my faces red. Now uh, another little uh, tip, if I just go back to the select box and we'll select those faces instead, uh, let's just uh, come over to the right hand side of the screen and expand this uh, toolbox menu here and if we come to paint, if we come down to paint, uh, uh, actually what you need to do here, the, pa the paint tool will only work when we have the paint tool active over on this side so if I press shift space again and go back to draw there and uh, now hopefully if I select the tools here so select the tool tab there, just on the right hand side there, you get a color picker and a color palette. So I can open up the color palette, I can click on press new. Uh, now this primary color here, if I press the plus, it will add a, uh, a tab for that. And I can, I can press X at this point, it'll just uh, perhaps swap, so swap over to green, no it won't. So if I just drag the color picker over to green, I can press plus again it'll give me a green and I can drag it over to blue and I can create a palette of colors just like that uh, and then with the blue as my primary color I can press Control X and now color those uh, selected faces blue.